All right, guys, so this is Battle of the Beaks. Um, Leah here is chopsticks, Nori is a spoon beak, and I am a scissors beak. So we have 30 seconds to dive in and grab as many food sources as we can um, until the environment changes, and we're gonna see who wins. All right, guys, so the environment suddenly changed on us. Climate change happened, and our original food source, which was macaroni, has now died off. So the food source has died off, but the environment is still the same. Lo and behold, because it's climate change, it's super hot, these animals were always there underneath the dirt, but now they're reproducing like crazy. And so we, as birds, need to figure out who can eat this. So are you guys ready? All right, on your marks, get set, go. So our environment went from climate change, it melted all the glaciers, and suddenly within our environment, our dog food and macaroni both died, but guess what? Dog treats suddenly started reproducing like crazy within our environment. Our beaks from our birds have stayed the same. That's the key. Now our beaks, we're gonna have to dive in and see which ones we can actually get, and whoever does not um, get this specific food, maybe like her, she's not able to get it, She's gonna die off as a species. And so that's the key of natural selection. The best suited for the environment survives. <laughs> oh. Okay, so the long story short is the Battle of the Beaks. Um, the data that I'm gonna be showing you guys is going to represent the scissors, which is myself. Um, I was not able to survive during the natural selection of the environment changing. Um, Nori here, who has a spoon, she was able to adapt to all the different food sources that was um, you know, evolving, um, coming up out of the earth that was already there. Her DNA did not change, neither did Leah's. And that's the key to natural selection, is that you already are best suited for the environment, and you just simply have to adapt to the changes. Thank you for listening, and thank you guys for participating.